Today is the Feast of the Guardian Angels. We can't see them, but the angels are always with us. Jesus in the Gospel today says that every child has an angel watching over you. And these angels not only keep us safe, but they keep us close to God. Just because we can't see those angels, or because we can't see God either, doesn't mean that they're not there. Both the guardian angels are there to, to keep us connected to God whom we can't see. So why does God give us an angel like that, each one of us? Because he loves us. Because he loves us so much that he, he wants us to know that we're loved and we're protected. But we can't always see Jesus' love, even though we know that it's there. And talking about Jesus' love, we learned last month on, the, on First Friday, we celebrate uh, Jesus' sacred heart. It's all about the great love that he has for us. And so, once again today, it's the first Friday, and not only do we celebrate the angels, we're also celebrating Jesus' sacred heart. And the sacred heart reminds us of the great love that he has for us. Even though we can't see the angels, even though we can't see God, even though we can't see Jesus' love all the time, it is there. And on this feast day, we, we get images of the sacred heart. To help us, remind us, that that love that we can't see is always there. You might not be able to see the statue very well up here. It's kind of small. But I wanted to bring it to show you today because this statue is one that my grandma and grandpa gave me when I made my first communion. I think they uh, gave it to me because they wanted me to be reminded of Jesus' love every time I would see this statue. And, and my grandma and grandpa, they know a little bit about love because they've been married for 65 years. Uh, they had their anniversary this summer on the Feast of the Sacred Heart. Um, so I'm glad that they gave me this statue to remind me of Jesus' s- sacred heart, his great love. And if you can't see it very well, you can look on your uh, music sheet, and there we have an image of the Sacred Heart. You know, in, Je- in this picture of the Sacred Heart, Jesus' his heart is open. Usually we can't see the heart that's inside of us. But in this one, it's open because he wants us to be able to see his love. You might notice out of the top of the heart, there's flames of fire coming out of it. What's that all about? Well, maybe you remember uh, when all the firemen were, uh, were burning one of those houses down. A lot of you came out and watched that. You know, once a big fire starts going, it's really hard to put it out. And that's kind of like what Jesus' love is. Nothing can put his love out. It's always going to be burning brightly, burning for us. And, And we can love him back because he first loves us. But sometimes it's hard to love back. And so that's why out of that fire of his heart, there is a cross coming out of the top. The cross was was the greatest moment of Jesus' love for us, willing to die for us. But it also remembers that, you know, we will have times of, we have to do hard things too, to show love. And it's our crosses that we have sometimes. Sometimes we don't really love that well, and instead we hurt those around us that we should love. And that's what the crown of thorns around Jesus' heart in that picture should make us think of. You know, sometimes when we sin, when we forget to thank God, when we're not reverent at Mass or, or we don't pray or we hurt others out of anger, that's like putting thorns around Jesus' heart. Our sins hurt Him. Our sins hurt us. But that never stops Him from loving us anyway. He even loved when the soldier pierced His heart with the spear when he was hanging on the cross. And in that image of the Sacred Heart, you can actually see it has that wound, and there's some blood and water kind of dripping out of his heart. The water should remind us of baptism when we became a child of God, and the blood that comes out of his heart should remind us of the Eucharist that we celebrate here at Mass. It's Jesus himself. 
Then, finally, in that image of the Sacred Heart, there is a circle of rays of light coming out of the heart, going in all directions. And those rays of light are all of the, all the graces, the blessings that Jesus wants to give to us through our whole life. So many good things that he wants to give to us. So we, we should never be afraid to ask for the things that we need. Whenever we're feeling alone or afraid, or it's hard to see God's love, we can look at an image of the Sacred Heart and be reminded of just how much Jesus really does love us.